Hello, I thought of doing a video on macro photography today and I think this is the perfect time to talk about macro objects and macro photography since half of the world is locked down at the moment for COVID-19 outbreak and my university and most of the public places are closed at the moment here and now we have much more time to spend online. Before everything, I have an important message for you all. The, please stay at your home and do a self-quarantine during this time and don't forget to wash your hands every 20 minutes at least for 20 seconds uh, so remember this stay at home wash your hands 2020 let's get into macro photography a couple of months before uh, some of the youtube channels inspired me in macro photography and i was really fascinated about it so i went and searched for some macro lenses and found that they are way too expensive than i thought and I wanted to find a cheap way to do macro photography with the gears I have. And I have got a DSLR and a couple of lenses, ordinary lenses. And I found that using an extension tube can convert your regular lens into a macro lens by spending literally nothing. And I was very much excited to know what's going on with these extension tubes and how they work. So as a passionate person in photography, I did some online research on this and I found that uh, how these uh, macro extension tubes work. So I'm going to share the information I found in internet uh, in a form of short animation so that you don't need to waste your time in trying to understand this concept. Here I have a Canon DSLR camera and a 50mm f1.8 lens. Let's start the macro setup with this. So I'll put this in simple words. First thing we notice is when we use these cameras, the image gets blurred and larger when we move the lens closer to the subject. What happens here, the image appears behind the image sensor. So we can see a blur image in the display or viewfinder and the key is if we can move the sensor further away from the lens, image will appear on the sensor and it will be much larger and clearer. This is the place where we need something to hold the lens and the body together. And here comes the macro extension tubes. You can see in the video, uh, the cactus looks much larger and clear when we use an extension tube to increase the distance between image sensor and the lens. Extension tubes are just hollow tubes without any optical elements inside and there are two types of extension tubes you can find in the market. Uh, if I tell it in my words, the first type is super cheap extension tubes. The, it's just a piece of hollow metal tube and the second type is cheap extension tubes. Again, hollow tubes with some electronics inside. I have both of them here with me, the super cheap one and cheap one. So to be exact, the $5 extension tube and $15 extension tube. If I talk little about the $15 version, you can control the lens same as how you control it before. It's like another regular lens. It's literally a, a macro lens. But with the $5 version, you need to break your head before you set up your extension tube with the camera. So there's nothing inside these tubes and you need to set the aperture of the lens before you eject it from the body. And this uh, thing is a little uh, difficult when it comes to these EF lenses. So I will put this, uh, how to remove these lenses from the body in another video. And the other thing is the screws in this cheap uh, extension tube is not strong enough. Uh, it cannot withstand the weight of your lens and you need to take care of your lens really well when you are using with this cheaper extension tube. But both give same results when it comes to photography. This extension tube's got three separate units in it and you can remove any part of it and use. So this just uh, let you change the focal length. But remember, longer the extension tube, shorter the focal length. So I prefer somewhere between 30 millimeter extension tube in my work. And uh, here you can see I have taken some images using all these three uh, separate units. The first image here, this is taken with a regular 50 millimeter lens with no extension tube. 
So this is what we see when we use a regular 50 millimeter lens. And the second image, this is with the 13 millimeter extension tube uh, with the 50 millimeter lens. You can see it's becoming bigger. And the, this image is a 34 millimeter extension tube. So I have taken uh, this image with 34 millimeter extension tube with the 50 millimeter lens. And finally, the last image, I have uh, fixed all these three units uh, in the extension tube and fixed the lens and taken this image and uh, the total length of the extension tube comes around 65 millimeter. So this image is way more larger and this is what we really need in macro photography. So, but I prefer around 30 millimeter because I'm interested in taking photos of some bugs and dragonflies and butterflies. from this video and I will put the links in the description below so that you can go buy these on tubes online and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for notifications leave your comments below about this video and thank you very much for watching see you next time with another interesting video